Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, I am going to be covering some Canva shortcuts I believe you will need in order to speed up your workflow and I understand, I understand Canva has a whole lot of um, shortcuts but honestly, I believe you don't need them all. You need just a few, um, a few ones to help you design quickly in Canva and whatever I'm going to share with you are the same shortcuts I also use on a daily basis anytime I'm designing in Canva. So if you are interested in knowing these shortcuts, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, thank you for staying with me. <laughs> the first thing I want to say is I have created a WhatsApp group and I want to invite you to join my WhatsApp group, okay? And in there, I get to give real-time updates. I actually get to engage with everyone in the group, okay? So if you are looking for something like that, you know, and even a place to also learn from other people, then I believe the group is the right place for you to be. So there's a link in the description box that will lead you to the group. Okay, so the first shortcut is Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And the use of this shortcut, I believe you already know, is to copy and paste okay so how can you use this shortcut to use the shortcut all you need to do is first of all select any element okay then you can copy so let's say i want to copy this um element to another design okay i can just copy you know using ctrl c come to the new design okay and i can just create a new page over here and ctrl v to paste so you can see i have the element here and this is really helpful and i use this on the on a daily basis especially when i'm creating a new carousel you know instead of trying to redo things i just copy from a previous carousel i created and paste onto a new one then i just tweak things the second shortcut i want to introduce to you is ctrl a and with ctrl a is simply to select every element on your design so let's see how we can use this so sometimes you may be working with certain elements and you want to select everything you have on your canvas. So to do this, you just press Ctrl A and everything will be selected. In my case, you can see I have locked it. So if I am to unlock okay, my elements, you see that Ctrl A simply selects everything. And with this, once I do that, I can easily move them together or I can copy the entire element I have on my canvas fantastic so the third shortcut i want to introduce you to is holding shift and clicking multiple elements okay so with this there are certain times you may not need every element you wouldn't want to select every element on your canvas but rather to select particular ones on your canvas so to do this all you need to do is to press and hold shift and click on each element you need okay so let's see how we can do this in canva okay so here we are so let's say i wanted to select this circle over here i click on it first and i hold shift and if i want this i also click this okay so this is how you can do that okay so you can just select all of these ones maybe these are the ones i need and i can copy come into a new design and let me delete this for now and paste so you'd see that all the elements i have used let me just change the background okay okay so you can see all the elements i selected have been copied so this is how you can use this and i use this a lot because most of the times most of the time there are just certain things you need on the canvas and this is one of my favorite shortcuts so the fourth shortcut i want to introduce you to is ctrl g and if you hear g which word comes in mind group okay so this is to group elements okay so let's see how you know we, we we can do that in canva so let's say i wanted to group two elements and remember you can only group two or more elements you can't group a single element keep that in mind okay so to group some elements you can select okay i can select multiple elements and use ctrl g to group them so now they become one element you understand so we can move them together and um, we can also do anything we want to do with them so that's how you can use ctrl g and also when you group elements you can also apply um, one effect on multiple elements you know and those elements have to be grouped that's what i'm trying to say okay the next shortcut i want to introduce you to is ctrl shift g and that is to ungroup any grouped elements in canva okay so with this what you can do is um let me group these ones again okay 
to control g to group all of these elements so if i want to ungroup them i have to make sure i have it selected and use control shift g okay so now if i click away and i come back you can see they have been ungrouped so how about if you want to tidy up certain um elements okay let's say you want to arrange them nicely but because you're not getting them right they look some of the spacing in between are more than the others and stuff like that how do you tidy them up so to do that all you have to do is alt shift plus t you understand that's how to do it so let's go into canva let me just um, demonstrate that to you so here we are in canva let me say um, i have this rectangle here okay and let me just duplicate and duplicate okay and duplicate so you can see that the spacings in between you know this is more than this and this is less than this so we want to have even spaces okay so we select everything here and like i said alt shift plus t you understand so it does the magic for you and with this once you have this you can see it's looking very uniform so this is how to use the tidy up shortcut alt shift plus t and now when you're working with text there are times you don't align to the left align to the center and align to the right so with this what are the shortcuts let's check that in canva okay so to do this you can see we have some sample text over here so if i want to center this okay i can just select my text and i press ctrl shift c to center my text and if i also want to align it to the right i can just use ctrl shift r and to align it back to the left all you have to do is ctrl shift l okay so that's how to use this shortcut in canva so you can see this is a very cool shortcut instead of clicking multiple times you only have the shortcut in mind so if i just want to um align this to the right then ctrl shift r so these are the shortcuts i have for you and one more thing i have a surprise for you the surprise is in the description box there's a link to a pdf okay and in that pdf i have all the shortcuts listed over there so you can download that and when you're designing in canva you can also have it open so that you can just be looking on that to design quickly in canva the name is benjamin and don't forget to join the whatsapp group i'll be looking forward to see you there's no limit to creativity and i will see you in my next video